Hello friends, we are still not employed by a fang company, so let's not stop lead coding till we get there. Today we are going to do alien dictionary lead code problem. And not only it is a very important problem, this problem can actually be asked in multiple ways. It can it can be asked directly as a graph question or it can be asked as a follow up question for the previous uh, question that we solved verifying an alien dictionary uh, because both questions are very similar. And if you want to check that where the solution for this problem is, you can check it out from over here. Also, the an, another reason why this problem is really important is if you just take a list of companies that have asked this problem, Airbnb, Facebook, Google, Amazon, Bloomberg, Microsoft, Uber, they have all asked this question in last six months. Also, IT giants like Pinterest, Apple, Twitter, eBay, they all have asked this question in last six months to one year and uh, ByteDance, uh, Snapchat and Flipkart. So they have asked this question not fairly recently, but still it's important. And uh, I will be paying my utmost attention because my aim is to clear any FANG interview. And uh, I hope you also enjoy the video. This is a lead code hard problem and it justifies this hard tag. Uh, so let's understand the problem statement. Essentially, we have identified a new alien language that uses English alphabet. However, the order of those letters is unknown to us. Now we are given a list of strings uh, inside this words and we are told that they are from this a alien languages dictionary. And in that string, the important property this words uh, have is that they are sorted lexicographically. Mm, and we need to return a string of unique letters that are present in the in these words and we need to return them in lexicographically increasing order. Now also there could be possible that there might be multiple solutions. So if there are multiple solutions, we only need to return any one of them. And there could be some, some cases where this given uh, string of words is invalid. And if it is invalid, we need to return an empty string. So in order to understand this problem, first of all, we'll have to identify that what does this lexicographically increasing order means? The second thing we will have to understand is that what are the cases where this particular uh, input is going to be uh, resulting in falsified uh, information and what does this string of unique letters with lexicographically increasing order means because this unique word is actually really important and uh, I'll come to that later. So suppose if we just talk about uh, what is lexicographically sorted means if we talk about English language, if we talk about the words A, B, A, B, C, D, uh, all the way up to Z, this is plain English language that we use on a day to day basis. Now in the English, suppose we are given any four letters, uh, suppose we are given letters like uh, Q, A, uh, E, B, R, C and uh, Q, E. Suppose we are given letters like this, right? And if we want to sort these four in plain English language, how we are going to sort them? Like, of course, the answer is simple. We are only going to check that what is their position in this given order. And based on that particular order, we will sort them. So if we sort them, uh, the sorted result would look something like E, A, Q, A, Q, E and R, C, something like this, right? And the reason we are able to generate this is because we know that the position of E comes before Q. And in this case, there are two entries Q A and Q E. So which means like if we will have to identify that what is the second letter and second letter A comes before E and then this R actually comes before Q. So we are able to determine a sequence like this. Now in this given problem, we don't need to generate a sequence like this. Uh, basically, we are told that we are not given this information. We don't know that what is the order of words are and we are directly given this particular sequence that is already sorted in that particular language. So suppose this was to be an alien language and if we, we want to identify that what should be the answer we need to return in this case, the few things we can determine from this input is that okay over here the we are checking first uh, at any point we are checking any two adjacent words in those two adjacent words we go letter by letter and we try to see that what is the first differing letter that comes to uh, in comes to the existence and based on the differing letter whatever the word is presented first should come first in that order 
rather than second uh, word uh, second letter uh, so if we compare these two words e a and q a we can see that the first differing word comes as e and over here it is q so which means we can determine that e will always come before q in this particular alien language now do forget this that this is plain english for uh, just imagine this as an uh, existing scenario so we know one scenario okay that e should come before q right now over here again if we compare next two words the next two words are q a and q e okay so in q a and q e notice that the first letter is q so it is common which means we cannot identify much information from that but the second letter is a and e which means we can determine that at any given scenario a will always come before e so we can notify that we can also create a scenario like that that a will always come before e and over here i am denoting this relation by uh, an arrow which indicates that at any given moment e should always come before q because uh, it is on the uh, beginning end of the arrow and uh, the where it is pointing to uh, should comes later and uh, again we will compare these two words q e and r c so if we compare these two words we can identify that okay q should come before r so we can also denote, denote that uh, relationship that q will become uh, will be before r right and over here now we have these three relations so based on these three relations we can actually establish something uh, over here that we can establish that a will always come before e and e will always come before q and q will always come before r so one of the sequence that we can return over here is that a e q r okay so this is one of the sequence that we have to maintain at any given cost because we are given these conditions based on the words that were given but the thing is will this be our answer and actually this will not be our answer and the reason this will not be our answer is because over here we are given this particular line that we need to return a string of unique letters from this words in the new new alien language that is lexicographically increasing order but thing is over here if we look the original input the in the original input we actually have one more unique character that we are missing and that particular unique character is so we already took care of e we took care of a we took care of q a q e r all of this we took care of but c the letter c we did not take care of it and the thing is over here based on whatever the input that we are we were given originally we cannot determine the position of c but the thing is we know that c is also a unique character and the only thing we know about the positioning is that for these four characters we can define some positioning like this for c we cannot determine any positioning but the thing is it has to be part of the answer as well and that is why we are told that there could be multiple solutions and we need we need to return any of them so in this scenario uh, this could also be a solution where a e q r and c we are placed at the end or this could also be a a, a solution where a we we put c somewhere in the middle and e q r is uh, also placed like that the important thing is that we need to maintain this order as long as we are maintaining this order because this c is one of those uh, unique letters where we cannot find the dependency for that so we will need to take care of it as well and this is a very important detail that lot of other videos have missed out and uh, that is why it took me a lot of time to make this video i want to make sure that i go through it completely now let's take one more example from the given input and uh, we, we will again try to find that what should be the answer for that So in the given input, we are given the following words. These are the words that we are given in the alien dictionary, right? And our aim is to find that what should be the answer in this case. Well, the first thing is uh, that we are what we are going to need uh, in order to generate the solution. In order to generate the solution, we are going to need two things. We are going to need list of all the unique characters that exist. And second thing we are going to need is uh, what are the dependency on uh, all between characters. And based on these two things, 
we will try to generate some sort of order or some sort of pair and also remember that we will have to consider the scenarios where we could find invalid strings as well so i'll be explaining that uh, in this uh, in this example so over here um, if we see the list of unique characters the unique characters are w r t f e okay these are all the unique characters that we can find in this particular input okay now let's start making dependencies now in order to make dependencies at any given moment we will have to compare two adjacent words and we are going to find first differing character and based on the differing character we are going to establish some dependency so first of all the first uh, first two words we are going to compare are w r t and w r f okay in this case w w is common r r is common which means that first differing character is t and f and we already know that these words are sorted so because they are sorted we can determine that t should come before f okay we already know that this is good now what is what are the next two words next two words and we are now we are done with this wrt the next two words are wrf and er okay so wrf and er now in this case what is the first differing word well the first differing word is first uh, letter by itself or uh, w and d which means we can make another dependency that w should always come before e now we can ignore this again we compare next two words so e r and e t t so over here what is the first so e is common the first differing letter is r and t which means that r should come before t next one is e t t and r f t t so over here the first differing character is e and r so we can also mention that e should always come before r okay now we have these four dependencies uh, for these five unique characters now let's try to see let's try to create a dependency tree from this given input so if we see we can clearly see that okay w is dependent on e and e so w comes before e then e comes before r okay then for r comes before t and t comes before f so this becomes uh, all the dependencies and if we notice all the unique characters they are already part of these dependencies so we are good we don't need to do anything more over here now if we make that what should be the order of uh, letters the order of letters in this case would be w e r t f and this would be the correct solution now notice that in order to generate the correct solution what we had to do is we will we had to find all the unique characters all the dependencies once we had all the dependencies we actually had to iterate over all the dependencies see that which dependencies are interconnected based on their interconnection we have we actually had to generate this order and in order to do that we are actually using uh, graph theory and how we are using graph theory is basically all the unique characters in this case are actually nodes and all of these dependencies are actually edges between those nodes and those edges can be represented as in some form of adjacency list uh, in some sort of hash map and then we will need to iterate over all of the entire graph and then at any moment we will have to go through the graph and find the solution that what uh, what should be the order in which we are able to iterate over all the unique characters which means that all the nodes inside the graph and we need to generate this order of pairs and if we are able to successfully generate this order of pair we will return whatever we find and if for somehow we find out that the input is invalid we will have to take care of that scenario as well so first let's take a couple of examples where we, we can find that the input could be invalid now based on the english language we know that at any given moment if there are two words present w1 and w2 and we know that any single word so suppose w1 is actually prefix of this w2 if that is the case then w1 should always come before in the dictionary than w2 let's take it by an example suppose we are given two words uh, like bat and batman 
if we are given two words like this. So if we compare, if we start comparing these two words and see that what should be their order, we check that, okay, B is common, A is common, T is common, right? Now over here, this actually ends. There is actually an empty list. There is nothing over here. While over here, there are still some values. So if that is the case, we can determine that this W1 is actually prefix of this W2 because these three characters are also present over here. And in that scenario, this W1 should always come before W2. At any given moment, we identify that this particular character is not present in correct manner. And suppose we are given an input like this, that Batman and Bat. If we at, at any moment encounter this scenario, we can immediately return false because or we can immediately return an empty uh, string because this is a wrong ordering. So this is one of the failed scenarios where we cannot do anything, right? So this is very important to understand and we will have to take care of this in our solution. The second thing that that will not work is that at any given moment, suppose we are given list of words. Uh, suppose the words are like X, A, B, X. Suppose we are given list of words like this. And what this means is that the first letter X should always come before A. Okay. So based on these two, we can establish this dependency. Based on these two, we can also establish that A should always come before B. Okay. And over here, the next thing is that B and X which means that what this is saying that B should always come before X. So if you notice over here that we are actually stuck inside a cycle that X will X needs to come before A, A needs to come before B and B needs to come before X. So at any moment in our graph, whenever we are traversing over all these unique characters and dependencies at any moment, we encounter that, okay, there exists a loop. And if we detect that there is a loop from any particular uh, node, then we can return false immediately or we can say that, okay, this is an invalid case where the string actually doesn't exist and we will need to break out of the loop. Suppose we are given a custom example like this words and we are told that all of these words, they are lexicographically sorted in the alien dictionary. And now we need to return the order of words uh, of all the unique characters that we can find. So what should be the approach? Well, in order to do that, we are going to need two things. Uh, first thing we are going to need is all the list of all the unique words or all the unique characters. And we are also going to need uh, the entire dependency uh, between any two letters that which should come first and which should come later, right? So let's start working on it. Uh, so first of all, we have B and A, okay? So we will just add list of unique uh, letters B and A. And second word is B, B, Y, which means that first differing characters A and Y. So we can establish a dependency like this, that uh, A should come always before Y. Okay. Now again, moving forward with next two values. So over here, the first differing character is B and A, which means that B should always come before A. And also, uh, I forgot to add one more unique character Y over here, right? Now, uh, this B should come before this A. So we'll add that to our dependency list as well, that B should come before A, right? So this is one dependency. And over here, we have the unique character D. So we'll add the unique character D as well. Now we will, uh, we have this other word, uh, the, these two words, and in these two words, A is common, which means that D and L are differing characters. So first of all, we'll add the word L over here. And over here, we have this D, right? Uh, so we know that D at any given location will come before L. Okay, so we'll just mention that. Now over here, we have one more unique character T. So I'll also mention that. Now the next two words are these two words. Over here, the A is common. L and I are different. And also we have one more unique character I. Now uh, we know that there is a dependency between L to I. So we'll also mention that that L should come before I. Now the next two words are uh, AI and AIR. Now notice over here that this AI is actually prefix of this AIR, right? Which means that this AI will always come before this word AIR. 
but we cannot determine anything regarding this r because this r by itself it has no other thing to compare it resu its result with which means that though we have a unique word we don't know that what is the intention for that particular word is and now let's see that in the dependency list that we have created uh, amongst these unique words what are all the words that we are able to find a pair for so one pair we were able to find is for this one this b a y uh, let me just draw everything in same color so b a y this is one pair which means we know that at any given moment this b a y order has to be maintained like b always has to come before a and uh, y and uh, same goes for this d l i that d always has to come before l and all l always has to come before i but in the list of unique characters we are given this r and t as well that are not represented by any dependency which means we can show we can say that uh, this r and this t they are unique characters by themselves which does not have any sort of dependency right so if we want to see that what could be the potential different pairs we can make over here well there could be bunch of different results like there can be so many different permutations and combinations let me just give you a few of them like most simple one would be b a y d l i r t so this is one combination uh, where notice that we are just maintaining the entire order now second combination could be uh, b d a l y i r t now notice over here that at any given moment we need to make sure that these two orders uh, are, are met up. So B is always coming before A and A is always coming before Y. So that is satisfied. Over here D is always coming before L and L is also coming before I. So that is also satisfied. This RT they don't have any dependency so it doesn't matter. We could have some pair like this that B, R, T, D, A, Y, l i this is also a valid pair because notice that this b a and y this is maintained this uh, d l and i this is also maintained this position of r and t doesn't matter so there can be a bunch of different options that we can choose from and i'm just showing you that uh, these are the different results we can have right because we need to take care of unique characters as well so don't forget the unique characters they are really important now what should be the approach in this case well one approach is actually quite simple because we know that we have a uh, unique characters we have the dependency we can choose some data structure like hash map we can iterate over at any point whenever we identify the dependency we can iterate over the entire hash map we can from any point we will try to see that whether it has any dependency or not if it has dependency we will go to that dependency we will try to iterate over those values and we'll try to generate the order list right so let's see that how it can work suppose we create a hash set like uh, suppose we create a hash map like this okay suppose this is our hash map and based on these dependencies we know something that we know that okay for in order for us to put down this b we know that a has to come after b which means a has dependency on b right we will mention it over here now for this a a has to come before y so a has to come before y now for this y we don't have any dependency so we will just leave this value as blank now for this particular d d has to come before l right so we will just mention l over here now this l has to come before i so we will just mention i over here for this i we don't have any dependency so we are good and same goes for this t and r that we don't have any dependency so we are good now since we have this dependency tree let's see that what would be the approach we can take over here so in this scenario suppose if we want to calculate that uh, what would be one of those ordering pair what we can do is we will start traversing through all the all of these values the, all of these unique characters and remember that this is hash map so in hash map we are treating these as key value pair a key value and these are actually values so in the keys we are mentioning all the unique characters in the value we are mentioning all the dependencies now over here we will start iterating at this b so first i'll just mark b as that we are iterating over it right now from this b we identify that okay we need to have a before b so again we go to a 
because we will have to check all the dependencies right we cannot just put any letter randomly any place right because this b has some dependency so we will have to go over that now this a has actually dependency on y so again we will go to y and we will just mark a as being as part of being visiting and over here we reach at this y y don't have any dependency so we are at this y now notice that we are actually traversing this graph in dfs manner depth first search manner right and at in depth first search at this y we identify that okay this y does not have any dependency so we can just put y to our order list so we can just put y to our order list now from this y we will do a back backtrack we will again come back to a again we will do a backtrack again we will come back to b and then we are we would be done with this b right that okay we are done with this now again we we start we ignore all of these now we start with this uh, second position now in the second position first we determine that whether we have calculated this value already or not so since a is already calculated over here so we ignore that so we can ignore the second case again we check that whether this y we need to calculate it or not but y we have already calculated so we can ignore this right so we will ignore this and now we'll move on towards this d now do you see any problem with this one well definitely we are seeing a problem with this one and the problem is that over here the dependency is like this that b has to come before a and a has to come before y in order for us to generate the dependency uh, dependency order but over here when we started traversing the actual dependencies we are getting is actually in reverse order you see that y comes before uh, a and a is coming before b so one way we can do it is that we can start traversing like this one that over here we again come to this d for this d we find a dependency as l for this l we depend find a dependency at i for i don't we don't find anything so we'll just put i over here then we backtrack so again we put l over here and then again we backtrack and then we will put d over here and then we come to this t uh, like this i this l and this uh, has already been done so we ignore that we come to this t t does not have any dependency we put it there i has already been processed and uh, we reach at, at over the over here at r now this order list we got is actually correct but in reverse order because the dependency should be like b a y and uh, this should be d l i but over here it's d l i in reverse order and same goes for b a y so what we'll have to do is uh, when we calculate the answer we will have to return the reverse of this answer and that would actually satisfy uh, these dependencies so that is one way of doing it right uh, and there is also another way of doing it and the better way is that when we are actually creating this hash map we can actually do something different uh, previously in the hash map what we are doing is that over here we had a key as all the unique characters and as the value we had these dependencies exactly as they were mentioned that for this particular b it is dependent on a for this particular a it is dependent on y but thing is that is not true the actual true thing is that actually this y the position of y should be dependent on a that y cannot be present unless there exists an a value before that if we start so if we rather than storing the dependency on value that is taking care of the value that comes after it if we start taking care in reverse order so let me show you what i mean by that so suppose if we have a hash map like this and over here in the value we actually present at any given value what should be the previous value that has to be present in order for us to reach at that particular value so what that would do is that if we want to calculate this b we don't need to basically have any value right so over here we will leave this as blank that for b we don't have any dependency but for this particular a we actually have dependency on b that b has to be there in order for us to process this a so we will put a dependency over here saying that okay b needs to be there for us to calculate this value a same goes for y that a needs to be there in order for us to calculate this value y again we reach at this d and for the d we don't have any dependency so we'll just leave it blank but for this particular l again we will have to have a d over here 
so we'll put a d over here for so for this t we don't have any dependency so we can leave it blank for this particular i we actually have to put we have to have an l before that so we'll put a dependency over here and for this r we don't have any dependency so we'll leave it blank right so this is the table we actually this is the hash map that we work with and over here now let's try to iterate over this hash map essentially our aim is to iterate over this entire hash map identify that at any point if you are inside the dfs function you are not finding the repeated character so that is now item number one. Second thing to make sure is that you go through all the characters and you start building up the order list so over here we will get so over here we will get uh, we initially started b and at b we don't have any child so we are good to put b over here now next uh, and we can mark that b is already done now we are at this a so for a we need to check that whether b is done or not b we check over here b is already done so we are good which means that we can put a over here so we will put a over here again we will mark a as being done again we are at this y we check that okay a y has dependency on a so we check okay a is already done so we can put y over here as well now we are at this d so d does not have any dependency so we can just simply put d over here and we can just mark this as done again from l we check for d d is already marked so we put l over here t does not have any dependence and we mark l t does not have any dependency so we mark uh, t is done we can put it over here now this i has dependency on l l we have already marked that it is done which means we can complete this i as well and for this particular r it does not have any dependency so we can put it over here now if you if you notice this scenario we are actually fulfilling both of these dependencies and uh, notice that this b comes before a and uh, comes before y so we are good uh, with this dependency this d comes before l and i so we are also good with the second dependency as well and this t and r they were actually separate values so it doesn't matter wherever we put them as long as they are there uh, it fulfills our purpose and this is the actual solution that we need to take care of that where initially we will iterate over all the words we will create all the unique characters based on the unique characters we will create the dependency list uh, based on the dependency list we can actually create a hash map uh, that we are going to use to traverse as a graph but the thing is rather than traversing the original hash map we can actually create a reverse link a reverse list of dependencies and we can iterate over that just once using dfs or bfs anything but we are going to use dfs because i want to master dfs for myself and we and that would be our solution so it took me a lot of time to come up with this solution it took me a lot of time to understand this problem okay let's calculate time and space complexity for this problem so the time complexity for this one is going to be big o of c where c is actually total number of characters that are given in this original input words because notice that there are three actually three parts of this problem the first part is that we need to find all the unique characters like in order to in order for us to generate all the unique characters we will have to iterate over uh, all the characters that are given in the original input words so that is one part now second part is that we need to create a dependency and in order to generate the dependency again we will have to traverse all the words and the third part is that we will have to uh, so we are generating some sort of hash map and in the inside the hash map we will have to iterate over all the values inside the the present hash map so at any given moment the maximum work we are doing is iterating over the sum of all the characters that are given inside this words so that is why that would be the time complexity and if we want to calculate the space complexity the space complexity would actually depend on the number of unique characters so suppose that in English language the number of unique characters maximum we can have is only 26 right and we are also told that for this alien language the maximum number of unique characters we can have is also going to be 26 so space complexity actually has a finite number and there is only so much it can grow so we can treat space complexity to be big O of 1 or constant space complexity for this one even for us to creating this additional hash map the second thing is that suppose if we want to calculate based on the number of unique characters uh, we, there is also one equation where the space complexity would actually be big O of u plus whatever the u square or n whatever the minimum value of this is and uh, 
let me know in the comments if you want me to explain the space complexity uh, in a scenario where the number of unique characters are actually not finite and not 26 like in this case it's 26 so i will just uh, leave it as it is but let me know if you want me to explain that first of all we are going to create our hash map and we are going to actually create it outside of this uh, alien order method that is given because we want to use that hash map to uh, our to other uh, to our dfs method as well so and as a key we are going to use unique characters and as a value we are going to use the dependency so it would be list of characters and we are going to name it reverse the list because uh, essentially we are just reversing the ages uh, adjacency list uh, also we will create another hash map to uh, essentially store the value of uh, any parameter that we are already currently visiting inside our dfs method and uh, so we'll need to create an output of uh, strings so we can create a string builder variable now the first uh, thing we need to do is find all the unique letters inside our uh, given word string of words now this is done now we will have to find all the edges and we will have to add the reverse edges to our reversed uh, reverse list hash map now at any given moment we need to check that whether the word 2 is actually prefix of word 1 or not if that is the case we can return false immediately and we have found a terminating case where the given uh, string of words is not valid okay if that's not the case we will find the first differing character between two words and uh, add it to our add it to our hash map And notice that we are actually adding the value to the second to the second words differential character. And the moment we find the first differing character, we can actually break out of that particular word. Now we are going to iterate over the reverse list hash map that we have created, and we are going to run our DFS function. Okay, for all, for all the keys present inside the reverse list uh, hash map, we are going to run the DFS function and we are also going to check that at any given moment, uh, have we receiving the result as uh, false. So we are just going to create a boolean variable result and now we are going to call the DFS function and uh, we are going to uh, provide the character inside the reverse list. And at any moment, if we identify that the result is uh, for this result character is actually fault uh, we will return an uh, empty list immediately okay now uh, all we need to do is that once we once this DFS step runs uh, we should have our output inside the result so we will have to check that whether all the unique characters are be, have been taken uh, care of or not so we are going to check that whether the length of output if that is less than the size of our uh, list If that is the case uh, we can return false immediately because we haven't taken care of all the unique uh, unique values present and if none of these cases uh, happen we will return whatever we find inside the output now the only thing we need to do is we will have to create the DFS method now 
first of all we are going to check that whether the current uh, character c we are checking if we have already visited that uh, or not if we have already visited that we are simply going to uh, return false if that's not the case which means first we'll add the current character to our scene uh, hash map and we are going to mark the entry as false so that way whenever if we encounter the repeated uh, value it will always return false otherwise by default the value would be true okay now for every single uh, character inside uh, the current for the for the given character we will uh, iterate over inside the uh, reverse adjacency list and at any point if we encounter the result false we will return false immediately if that is not the case uh, we will remove the entry from the scene uh, hash map so we'll set the entry as true and uh, inside our output string we will append the value and for that particular character we are going to return true okay so i know this is a very long and too many lines of code i'm going to put this in the comments let's try to run the code okay seems like our solution is working and uh, also remember i was talking to you that we will have to take care of all the unique characters uh, here let me show you an example so suppose we only have two characters h and p if we are only given input like this and we know that h comes before p right which means that uh, in the result we should be getting hp so let's see that what okay so this is this is accepted right but now let's say that we have uh, an additional character H A and P B. Now over here we don't have any mechanism to measure this A and this B. So they become unique characters, right? And now let's try to run the code for this particular test case. So if we do that, uh, you are going to see that A and B would be at weird locations. So over here, see, the important thing is in our output, we are maintaining the order for this H and P. And that is what it matters like a and b over here in our output is actually behind this hp while over here the a and b are actually at the beginning and then there comes hp so it doesn't matter as long as the order that are that is given in the input is maintained and now let's try to submit this code and uh, oh wow our solution is actually 99 percent faster than all the other solutions and uh, I used lot of uh, help from the solutions tab from this uh, lead code premium because it took me a lot of time to understand this problem. So I'll be posting this in the comments. You can check it out from there and uh, hope you like the video. It